The recent rains that Southern California has seen has made me glad that I have been keeping up on the maintenance of our roof. The roof of our coach is made from fiberglass and TPO rubber roofing. The fiberglass sections are part of the front and rear and caps. This video is a review of the materials that I have been using to care for the roof and some of the areas that each are used. The views are my own, and while we have not received any compensation for this video, we really think it can be of benefit to others. The main product we use is Eternabond Roof and Leak Repair Tape. This has many uses in maintaining the roof. The second is Dicor Self-Leveling Lap Sealant. This is a removable product, and it also flows out to fill voids and thus seal. I use this material to seal areas on the roof that are not even or may need to be removed at some time in the near future, such as around the antenna base, the awning sensor, the holding tank vent, and the ladder roof mounting plates. This was so close to the back seam that I also used it for that. For areas that are long and do not have any convoluted shapes, I prefer to use the Eternabond tape. This gives a more permanent sealing solution. The tape does not come off without a lot of work, so anything that I may be changing out in the near future, I will not use the tape on, but rather I will use the Dicor Lap sealant. But on straight seams at the transitions of the fiberglass and TPO roof, around the skylight, over the shower, and straight seams, I will use the tape. It's easier. But for added protection, I will put a bead of lap sealant on the edge of the tape, or on any small cuts in the tape that may happen during installation. Our next video will show how we use these products and some of the tools that make the job easier. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.